So you might have heard that you should prefer using standard functions like memcopy instead of writing normal loops. You might have also heard that it's actually faster. But why is that actually? For complicated functions, sure, it might use some algorithm to make it faster, but for things like memcopy and memcompare, how does it actually make it faster? I mean, we're just doing simple assignment and comparison, right? Well, let's look at the glibc implementation of memcopy. So it's going to use different functions for different uh, cases. So if we are trying to copy huge chunks of memory, it's going to try copying whole pages, not just bytes, right? But uh, let's actually look at the word copy uh, and byte copy, I guess. Um, I think it's here, copy the C. So we can see that we are doing some loop unrolling and we are processing eight things at once here. And if you don't know what loop unrolling is, well, in a normal loop you would write, usually you would uh, have something like this, right? So you would have your main loop condition, which in this case is the maximum number of iterations, right, n. And in the body of the loop, you are going to actually do what you want to loop, right? In this case, copying from source to destination. And then, uh, you know, it uh, increments the thing here and decrements the thing. So every time you actually want to copy from source to destination, you're going to recheck the end here and then do the increment and decrement. So you might spend the same time or more time checking if you have more iterations to go over than actually copying the thing. So what loop unrolling aims to do is to spend more time actually copying or doing the thing in the loop body instead of actually checking if there are more iterations to go over. And then, you know, I guess we can make this a four. s plus equals 8, d plus equals 8, something like this. And you know, uh, these are supposed to be indices, but uh, yeah, like this, right? And it actually needs to align the things first, right? So that's what this switch does. Also, every copy here is not just one byte. It's set to opti, which is the largest data type, uh, the largest amount of bytes we can operate on where we haven't seen a speed decrease, I guess. Also, we might not even use this mem copy because it's also implemented in assembly. Well, depending on the architecture you are using, but um, I think this is ARM. So this is mem copy on ARM. And if you use mem copy uh, on your C program, it might actually call this instead. 